Hi, welcome back or welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to add social media tags to your YouTube videos. I'll even show you guys how to add that animation touch if you guys want. So definitely stay tuned to the video. If you find it helpful, feel free to subscribe. But yeah, let's get right into it. Step one will, of course, be to find the icon of the social media um, place that you want to use. You can just go onto Google and search for the icon. In this case, we're going to go with Instagram. Once you save it to your computer and whatnot, just drag and drop it on your timeline and then as you can see it is actually pretty big so for this this purpose we're going to scale it down okay we're going to scale it down about there and then just to make it easier on ourselves we're going to click this icon and then we are going to drag it somewhere down here in the corner here, similar to how we did with the whole making your own lower third. But you can actually, you know, put this anywhere you want. But for these purposes, we're going, we're going to keep it here. You can actually put it wherever you want, but for the purpose of this video, we are going to keep it here. We're going to hit done, and there we go. We have that so far, but that's not all. We need a little bit more. Um, in the end, uh, I got four seconds. Uh, let's make it six seconds, okay? So we want it to be six seconds, so we will actually make it three seconds okay um there's a method to my madness stay tuned to the video and you will see why because i did mention that when i animate this as well so okay so we have that there next what we want to do is we want to click on the titles tab as i call it or wherever the text thing is in your video editor and what we want to do we want to simply find um where it says custom or where you get your t custom text we'll drag this down here we will go here and you know we should probably put the name of a uh, social media in here okay there we go fun fact this is actually legit my social media i have an instagram and this is actually it feel free to follow if you would okay we're going to put that here you know center it a bit more and then we are going to make this bold yeah bold you know what let's make it a little smaller put it right here now as you can see with the background it it kind of hides it a bit so we can do a few things okay first of all we could simply select the font and add um either an outline around it or a drop shadow that makes it more visible but let's say we don't want to do that route okay we can simply go to solids um you don't have to go to solid you can actually just import a black um png or whatever color png or jpeg or whatever image that's just one solid color that you want but 
It makes it a bit easier if you import it with the program. You know, if the program has it, it just makes it a bit easier to do it this way. And then, now, what we're going to do is drag this down one more. Um, so that's on top. And then, we are going to go to the inspector and crop it a bit, okay? Um, crop this here, crop this here, drop this here to get sort of what we want. Now there is a, we could go a different way with it. Let's add the shape mask to this, okay? And as you see, it actually adds a sort of shape. It adds it in the mask. We are going to keep that like that. We are going to keep the curvature a little bit, you know, just so it's curved a little bit. And we probably want no feather whatsoever. And yeah, I know what you're thinking. And this is what we want, okay? It's a little bit smaller right now. But we can fix that very, very easily. How are we going to fix that, you ask? Well, we are simply going to make this into its own compound clip. Okay? Yeah. There we go. It's a compound clip. So now, what we can do is it lets us scale this bigger in the end. While we're scaling it, we put this up here a bit. So this is here. We move this bit over here. We can actually make this a bit easier on itself by just doing it this way. I think that's what we will do. We can also put these inside of their own compound clip as well. We will call this um, Insta. Make sure you're naming your compound clips differently. Um, and then since we called that Insta and it's in the compound clip now, we can actually scale this down a bit now too. You know, not so it's infinitely smaller, just so it's easier for us to handle. And then put this here. And then, that is where we go with that. That's how we're going to make it basic. But I did mention animating it, okay? So, we are going to animate this. Now, there is a little trick I use to easily animate it. As you'll recall, I did make it so... I did say it's going to be 6 seconds at the end, but I had you guys make it 3. Well, this is the reason. First, when I select both of these, when I hit Compound Clip once again, and let's name this... In the group okay and then hit okay it's in its own compound clip right now which is what we need okay it's very important because now we're going to use the power of keyframe okay so go to <clears throat> select the very start of it make sure it's selected Go to the very, go to the inspector if you don't have it visible. You know, just click there. Although you should have it visible. We've been using the inspector like the whole time. Um, <clears throat> and then right up here under, um, add a keyframe, okay? And then after you've added the keyframe under X, just scale that back until 
it's not visible at all okay that's what you want to do so that's good there and then if you go to the end here you won't be able to see it so we'll go right before the end and then we will we don't have to hit the keyframe thing again it will do it automatically so we just need to put this where we want it to be so let's say we want it to be here now i know what you're thinking but the keyframe isn't at the end so it will pay off a little bit which it will technically so the easiest way to fix this is actually hold control press v this is a final cut pro thing specifically i'm sure the other way to do it on other editors but unfortunately i don't really know how to and then once this is open you can drag to the end there and then we have that there let's go ahead and close that and let's go ahead and play it and make sure everything is working out exactly how we want it okay good and then i remember what i said before about it being six seconds in the end well what we're going to do we're going to hold down options and then hold drag this click and drag over here so we have another one alternatively you can hit Control c then Control v the next right over it but yeah and then all we're going to do is select this copy right here that we made and then go and just reverse clip okay either right click depending on your editor but just hit reverse clip and now we can just play it from the get-go there it goes there and then it goes out just as we want it to and that's how you do it there now you can hide the clip below i mean you know you can put this in its own clip thing if you really want and then just export this whole thing together and then you can just have it for all of your things that bottom clip i only i don't even know why i have it there to show you guys visually what it will look like but yeah you can simply export this as you know you know just add the thing with a transparent background of course i have a whole video covering how to export um transparent background or alpha layer feel free to check that out um but yeah that is how you do it and hopefully you guys found it helpful this is how you do it without a plugin and with that said i will catch you guys in the feature later mm -hmm.